Right, this is going to be a quick one take how to make your key look like brand new. This is the current MX5 key. I mean, it still works, but um, the buttons are all worn and horrible. So, to get this apart, I'll move the new one out of the way for now. You're going to need a few things a um, couple of screwdrivers, these come in helpful. Um, so, there's a screw hidden under here. Don't stab yourself in this. If you get a knife and flick this out the way, they're glued in. So, just don't stab yourself. <laughs> okay. That pops out like that, and then under this bit of glue, there is a screw. What you can also do is pop the key apart, so if you just pull, it comes out like that. Right, unscrew that. Of course, he's got a screwdriver that doesn't fit. Just use the knife. <laughs> Obviously, find a Phillips head that fits. Right, that comes out. And then this bit should split apart. Like that, and then we we don't need any of this apart from get rid of the spring, get rid of the pin, apart from the key blade itself. <coughs> so then we can also we need the circuit board and stuff out of this one. So if you there's a slot there, wrong one. Here's a flathead screwdriver. There's a slot here. You can just pry it apart. Well, the last one pried it apart. <laughs> I mean, if in doubt, just go down the side. Um, this is going in the bin, so I'm not particularly fussed. So, yeah, we'll chuck that bit away. We need to steal the battery because that still works. You could put a new one in if you wanted. Uh, that's just a holder for the battery, that can go. Um, and then you need this little circuit board, which is the important bit. And then that bit can go. I've made a mistake. Bring back in the bit that you chucked away. And um, this is the housing bit. Uh, in the top half, this side, just here, is the little um, immobiliser chip. So on the steering column, where that goes in, there's a ring around the barrel and it picks up the chip, which is for the immobiliser. Don't chuck that in the bin. That's why you need this bit. Um, I on the last one I tried to pick it out with a screwdriver and it, uh, it just doesn't um, but you don't want to break that or fracture it because it'll stop working so if you just get some flush cuts or side cuts just break away the plastic that's the safest way because this housing is going in the bin so I'm not particularly fussed if I break it it's not the nicest way of doing it and then when you get to a point where you can actually slide a screwdriver in, you can just... No, not yet. Hoik it out. Obviously don't flick yourself in the face while doing this, because it really hurts. No, not quite. There we go. So once you've broken all the bits off, this should... He says. <laughs> should. Is this one glued in? The other one came out a lot easier than this. There we go. Does not want to move. That is properly in there. I 
think this one's glued. The other one just fell out. This is ridiculous. No, nope, still stuck. There we go. Oh, this one was glued slightly. Right, that's the bit you don't want to lose. That's the immobiliser chip. So it will bring across the new one. Which also happens to have a screw in as well. It's good to have acquired a screw from somewhere. Unless they spent them, they must send a spare one. Right, anyway. Screw out the back of that one, as the same as before. Don't lose that. This will pop open. Just watch the spring it doesn't fire out and take your face off. Just move all this plastic junk. Right. Let's put that in there before we lose it. Uh, that way around. It doesn't particularly matter which way around it's in. it goes. Once it's in the hole, and then when you put the cap on it, it'll seal it in. So. So then we discard the spare blade. I mean, you can keep it and have it cut if you wanted to, but conveniently the new, new, old, <laughs> your original blade fits. Uh, make sure you put it in the right way around. It goes that way around, so it closes. No, that's a lie. It goes that way, so it closes. But before you put it in, you need to put this spring in, which goes in the slot there, and then on the back side of here is a corresponding slot but you'll have to line it up like that and then twist it and then that nope that's missed try again there you go and then that that's your return like your the way it returns and then you've got this pin which goes in the middle like that and then we've got has to go that way around because you can see that the bottom pin goes in the slot there then you line all that gubbins up that's it and you Springs aren't the strongest I've found in these. I think they need a bit of lubricant to get them to move because they're a bit. They're not right. Is that falling out of its spring? Because if you hold it like that, it retains fine. I think these are just slightly out of spec, so they hold a bit too much. We'll adjust it later. Oh, missed. Right, screw can go back in the hole. That's the wrong screw. That screw. No, I was right the first time. That one. that all holds that together. And then we've got the bottom section which is this bit which should just pop open hopefully. Like that. All the buttons fall out. We have a new rubber gasket thing that then this can sit in. So the two, you can see the recess here, the two buttons sit in there like that. And those rubber dongers should touch the buttons, is that right? 
they're just very quiet buttons. And then the, the bottom bit's the same and it, it's got all the correct bits in for the battery. So it's just a case of plonk that in there. And then that sits on top of there. And it has to be inside the has to be inside that for that to work. No, that's wrong. Put it in the top half first, and it won't fall apart. So that goes in there. There's your buttons, and then those go in there. It's probably easier to put the gasket in first. Yeah, that holds that all together quite nicely. And then it should just be a case of that way around. Popping that in there. Oops. And open the wrong way around, that way around. Hang on a minute. Hold on. No, it was right the first time. That way around. So just line the bottom up. Make sure the buttons are lined up. It just clips together like that. Push the button. Yep. All lights up. I guess they have to be worn in slightly because they're a bit stiff, these. And then, yeah, so your new one that you've done here, that bit goes in there. Probably just to open the key first. That's it, and then that locks together. And then your last bit, the uh, sticker off the back of there. Put that in the hole. Job done. That's how you make it look brand new. And those are about three quid on AliExpress. Happy days.